You'll see a longer version of this next story on the next Out of Left Fields coming in December, but it was so good we wanted to share it with you here on SSP TV News. Big thanks to Emmanuel Christian School for having us at their annual event. Check it out. Hope. Lisa Finn wrote the book on it. Emmanuel Christian School is trying to bring it to Hazleton. Hazleton is a city looking to rebound. It's a city with gangs, drugs, and lots and lots of sea turtles. Let me explain and let me start at an event called Dessert Evening of Hope. High above the city of Hazleton, students from Emmanuel Christian School handed out brownies, cookies, and cakes as the school's faculty set out to spread the school's mission. Education is about ideas. And so one of the things that we're trying to do uh, with our students, but also in the, the city, is we're trying to change ideas. For example, what is success? Uh, what, what makes a person successful? And often people, uh, kids, uh, junior high students, they all think about money, cars, a big house, uh, anything that, that is stuff. Or sometimes they just simply think about doing what they want to be able to do. Uh, they think that will make them happy. And our idea is that we're, we're working with what God's truth says about success, and that has to do with giving away what we've g been given. And so uh, that's really hope, because the, the, the way hope works is that we give away what we have. Uh, and that's the, the idea that uh, there's something more to live for than just money. Susan Selby, the school's business administrator, had a book sent to her by a friend called Carry On. It's the story of how a former ESPN producer helped two kids with disabilities living in poverty without parental guidance fully realize their potential. As I was reading it, I was really drawn into it and realizing what an incredible story it was. I thought, gee, I wonder if Lisa would be our speaker. <laughs> so I called her and she answered the phone and we talked and I told her about the school's mission and told her about our heart for the city and our heart for um, under-resourced kids and that we want more kids to have an opportunity to have the education that we're giving and she just liked the sound of all of those things and she said, sure, I'll come be your speaker for your event. So here she is. Let's go back to the question we started with. What is success? Lisa Finn is an Ivy League graduate who worked for a company that calls itself and is regarded by many as the worldwide leader in sports. She won awards for the story she helped tell. Without a doubt, that's success. And so is this. Her family is filled with love and support. Her and her husband have a biological daughter, an adopted son, and Leroy and D'Artagnan the two sea turtles from Cleveland. Finn told their story for ESPN's Outside the Lines. Leroy Sutton and D'Artagnan Crockett were best friends with disabilities on their high school wrestling team. Sutton lost his legs after a train accident, and Crockett is legally blind. I was drawn to them because they seemed to be such a symbol of strength. And they had really difficult lives and daunting, challenging disabilities and yet they combated it all with this really cheerful friendship. You know, they didn't turn to drugs like most in their neighborhoods or gangs or a sense of entitlement. They combated it with a friendship. And to me, that was the story that the world needed to see. That's what stuck out. While working on the story, Finn worked on building the trust of both Sutton and Crockett. And as she watched their story unfold, she couldn't help but feel the need to get involved. One day we had a situation where D'Artagnan um, had gotten all of his things stolen at a powerlifting meet and he was really angry and um, my cameraman had kind of seen me, my affections growing for these boys and was nervous that I was crossing a journalistic line and when D'Artagnan had gotten his things stolen I had asked my cameraman if I could borrow cash so I could go help him replace his stolen items and this made him very nervous but then finally he handed me the cash and he said go save the turtles. And I said, what? And he had told me about these documentaries he had seen of baby sea turtles being hatched on the shore. And when they hatch, they have to make about a hundred yard journey to the sea to survive. But that journey, um, only about 10% ever make it because vultures and all sorts of predators come out and try to capture these and eat these sea turtles. And he said he's watching this documentary thinking, go baby sea turtle, go baby sea turtle. And then it hit him. If the cameraman would just pick up the sea turtle and throw it in the ocean, they wouldn't be on the verge of extinction. And he kind of realized the analogy we were facing. We're watching these boys struggle and we're documenting it. 
but we're also in a position to do something about it. And that was sort of a moment where both of us said, wherever the line is, we're going to cross it. Finn decided to do more than just root for the turtles. She helped Sutton and Crockett manage the money viewers sent into them and navigate their way to adulthood. Leroy Sutton went on to become a dad and after college, a video game tester for electronic arts. D'Artagnan Crockett has two Paralympic bronze medals and a world championship in judo. Lisa Fenn has two unbelievable friendships and a story she is more than willing to share with others. It's a phenomenal story. It's, it's an amazing story because these two fellows were really stuck in a, in a place where there was no hope, uh, there was no future, uh, except whatever they could muster up themselves. And they had great limitations even doing that. And so it, it, my, my response is just, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to give hope to students who are stuck in a place that seems like there's no future, there's nothing out there for them.